Hello, so we are looking at um, this problem here, and we want to uh, multiply, okay, because we have this little multiplication operation. So typically when you multiply radicals, to bring them under the same radical, you need the same index and to be multiplying. Like we have the nth root of a times the nth root of b is the nth root of a times b. So these have the same index, but these ones have different indices. So we can't do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to first change to an exponent and then try to use exponent rules. Okay? So we know that a to the 1 over n is the nth root of a. We also know that a to the m over n is the nth root of a to the m, um, or the nth root of a all to the nth power. Okay, So these here, like that factor, looks very similar to this. It's a root of something raised to powers. So we're going to utilize this and change it into an exponent. Okay? So <clears throat> this seventh root of a b to the sixth becomes a b to the sixth, but because our index is a seven, it's going to be raised, this whole thing's going to be raised to the, the Whatever's under the radical is going to be raised to the 1 over nth power, so 1 over 7 power, okay? And then we multiply that by the factor that is a to the 4th b to the 1 over 8 power, okay? So we got to go through and use our exponent rules. Our exponent rules have scenarios like a, um, a, b, to the nth, if we're multiplying here, then we have a to the n, b to the n. So since these are all multiplying inside of these um, factors, then this is going to become, I'm going to just jump down here since we have more space, a to the 1 7th times b to the 6 7th because um, we're also utilizing the rule of b to the 6th to the 1 7th you're going to go through and multiply these exponents, so you're going to have b to the 6 sevenths. This is doing the um, a to the n all to the m. You multiply your exponents. Okay? <clears throat> so then, we also have, uh, doing the same thing over here, a to the 4th divided by 8. It's going to be a to the 4th to the 1 8th power, so you multiply the exponents and you get 4 eighths times b to the 1 over 8, okay? So this equals, I'm going to rearrange it a little bit, a to the 1 7th times a to the 1 half, because 4 eighths reduces, times b to the 6 7th, times b to the 1 8th. <clears throat> ah. So, um, we have this other exponent rule, sorry about that, switching... We have the other exponent rule, which is if we have a um, to the n times a to the m, then what do you do with your exponents here? If you have the same base, you add them together. So this is going to become a to the 1 7th plus 1 half times b to the 6 7th plus 1 8th. So we have to go through and add these together. Let's do a little aside. So 1 7th plus 1 half is going to be 7 14ths plus, um, so let's say 2 14ths because we multiply this top by 2 and the bottom by 2, top by 7, the bottom by 7, and 7 14ths. So you have 9 14ths. So you have a to the 9 14ths. And then you also have 6 sevenths plus 1 eighth, multiply top and bottom by 7, top and bottom by 8, so you get 48 um, 56th. 
plus 7, 56, which is 55, 56. Um, we're going to need to eventually have to, because under the same radical, so we need to have the same base of the exponent because that's the same index. So this is the same thing. I want to get these in the same denominator. This is going to be multiply top and bottom by four. You get a to the 36, 56. And then you have b to the 55, 56. So um, you can, ooh, uh, um, the six shouldn't be there, okay? So now we have this, and we have a to the 36 times b to the 55th, all raised to the 1 over 56 power because these, we're basically doing this rule but in reverse, okay? So now that we have something raised over our exponent rule, to the one nth power, in this case, one fifty six power, you can make this into a fifty sixth root of a to the thirty sixth and b to the fifty fifth. And because you won't have fifty six a's multiplying together or b's multiplying together, this can't be reduced any further. And that's the answer. So fifty the fifty sixth root of a to the 36th times B to the 55th. Okay, hopefully that helps.